Hey everyone, my name is Jay Marshall. I'm a Principal Cloud Development Strategist for the VMware vCloud Air Business Unit, welcoming you to five starting points for VMware vCloud Air. This particular edition is focused on extending existing applications, and these videos are intended to be short little clips to kind of help you get started with our public cloud option. So let's get started. So what we're gonna look at today is, you know, most all enterprises have a significant number of applications. I don't think that's any big surprise to folks. In fact, I don't remember the last time I saw a customer say that they don't have enough applications. But obviously having all of these in our data center causes challenges uh, around managing those moving forward. So we're gonna take a look at some of those customer challenges. We're gonna see how we can translate those into requirements to potentially start implementing cloud into these applications. And then, of course, we'll look at how vCloud Air can address those requirements, and then we'll wrap up. So let's get started. So when we talk to customers, whether you're doing traditional data center uh, deployments or if you're attempting to use a public cloud, both seem to have their own sets of challenges for dealing with existing applications that you already have in your data center. Things like time to market, when we talk about being able to rack and stack hardware or even spin up virtual machines quickly, uh, being able to scale for growth, uh, many customers that I work with, they're on three to five year buy cycles. So being able to predict what kind of applications you're going to build and what kind of infrastructure you're going to need for any kind of projects can be a challenge. And of course, cost efficiencies, because we're not really always dialing in the cost per app uh, the way that we maybe should be doing, because once again, it's a little bit of an unknown box. But if you're considering migrating those applications or taking those applications to a public cloud, there's a whole other set of issues that you need to be concerned with, particularly for ones you've had in your data center for a while. So things like workload visibility or portability, security and compliance, and once again, lock-in, you know, what we call a Hotel California cloud of your workloads go there and check in, but they can't check out, right? So no matter what your strategy is moving forward, dealing with your existing applications can be a challenge. So when we look at some of the common solution requirements that our customers are asking for, they want the agility that hybrid cloud promises. Uh, a lot of our customers have remote office locations, so that geographic reach is very important, or perhaps even just extending your applications to your customers, you may have that requirement. And one of the big driving factors is around transitioning to more of an OpEx model using cloud rather than traditionally the CapEx model we've had. But you know, a lot of times you hear about spinning up all these great new processes and great new technologies, but that also means you have brand new people, brand new processes, and brand new skill sets. But we're also having to manage what we have now. So it'd be nice if we could leverage what we have as much as we can moving forward. And in a common architecture that promises the workload portability that we need, so that once again, we're not managing all of these multiple stacks. So vCloud Air is a fantastic choice for meeting these requirements as we do provide that self-service capacity on demand so that you can move those workloads when you need to and work, move them back when you need to. Our global data center footprint gives you that reach that you need for your applications. And our monthly subscription service or pay as you go service means that whether you wanna have a true hybrid cloud strategy where you have a chunk of hybrid cloud there for you at all times, or if you wanna spin up some, say for example, in a test dev situation, doing an upgrade, where you move an existing app over, upgrade it, and then move it back. Our hybrid management solutions like vRealize Automation and vRealize Application Services are true hybrid tools that allow you to build your application architectures in either location. And things like our advanced networking uh, features and other virtualization features, once again, cross-platform. So the ability to migrate virtual machines and your existing apps back and forth as per your business requirements is a unique value proposition that vCloud Air brings to the table. So what we want to use to illustrate this uh, is a Microsoft Exchange deployment. So a very, very popular uh, existing app that I'm guessing most of you have. So what I'm illustrating for you here is ba a pretty basic Exchange implementation in perhaps your own on-premises data center. We can see we have a, a DAG network for our database availability group. We have a client access network, of course, to talk to our end users. And then maybe we have some really complex, crazy backup availability network that we use to back all of the above up. So probably nothing too outstanding there. Most of you probably have something similar. But where we can start talking about hybrid cloud as a way to design and architect another version of this. 
What I'm going to start with here is to show a dedicated cloud offering that we spun up in our Northern California data center. And you can see an edge gateway that you get out of the box with that. So what I can do is I can spin up those exact same client access network and DAG networks as what I have internally. And then by dropping in what we call Direct Connect, where we actually lock down a port just for you, and then you can drop an MPLS connection down for super low latency, I can now effectively extend that exchange deployment out to that dedicated cloud. And I'm also able to take advantage of that backup and archive network and extend that out to the public cloud version of my exchange deployment. Now, you might ask, you know, why would I do this? So what, what's the value prop here? Well, in other videos that you might have watched in this series, I refer to this uh, magical St. Louis data center, okay? So if I have a data center in St. Louis, but maybe I do have people that work out on the West Coast. So it might be a simple latency thing. By putting those mailboxes closer to where those users are, that gives me a, a lot better performance for those folks on the West Coast. It could be a capacity issue. Maybe I'm close to running out of capacity, and oh, by the way, they're in California anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and spin it up that way anyhow. So it's a great use case for being able to extend something like an exchange. So let's just say I'm in St. Louis, but I also want to go ahead and do the same thing for my East Coast uh, employees. So I'll spin up another dedicated cloud, this time in our Virginia data center. Once again, the same client access network, same DAG network. But this time, whenever I actually extend the MPLS connection, I'm going to do a direct connect from California to Virginia, as well as Virginia back to the private data center. So you'll see kind of a loop going on here. What this allows me to do is this gives me true database availability groups that can withstand a failure. So you need three to withstand a failure, right? So what this means is, not only am I getting geographic dispersion of my exchange environment, not only am I not having to worry about procuring all this extra capacity in my data center, but I can now withstand an outage and have an entire data center be wiped out and not lose my mailboxes. And once again, by the way, my entire backup and availability network that I've built for this solution is extending to both of my remote clouds. So obviously this isn't a how-to guide because it's a little bit more complex than some dotted lines. But hopefully you see where, once again, it's about architecting these hybrid designs, about how I can leverage that same vSphere platform, the kind of networking that I'm already used to doing, that you can take these existing applications and architect these hybrid solutions out of them. Very unique to our platform. So in summary, the point with vCloud Air is that you can build reliable hybrid applications without any compromise around a platform, around networking, or about portability. That seamless interoperability independent of location, as we illustrated a minute ago, whether you're deployed in California, deployed in Virginia, or deployed in your data center, it's all the same. And we're able to do that with the same tooling and resources that you already use in-house. Okay, so hopefully that's interesting to you. If you're interested in trying out vCloud Air, please go to the link that you see on your screen. You can sign up, receive free credits, absolutely no commitment, and you can cancel at any time. You can also reach out to your local VMware team to get a deeper dive if you're interested in anything that you saw today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you go try it out.